Hey dude, welcome back. This video is a guide on how not to complete Garden of Salvation. Let's get into it. Number 1. Make sure you always start the opening encounter by shooting the Minotaur, no matter how many times your teammates tell you not to. Number 2. Make sure you kill the Cyclops within 0.3 seconds of entering the room, forcing the extra Cyclops to spawn right away so your teammates can be insta-killed by them. Number 3. When it comes to tethering, always take the longest path around to complete the chain. Remember, 95% of tethers only require 3 players to complete, so have your entire fire team get in the way. Number 4. After you've opened the door, designate one person to be the one who does no work here and runs past all the enemies and waits for you to get to the end, nearly causing you guys to wipe the encounter and repeat steps 1 through 3. Number 5. Once you've completed the first encounter, have a few of your teammates waste 10 minutes trying to get the secret chest they swear was easier the first time they got it. Number 6 goes hand in hand with number 5 because while they are wasting their time dying, the other teammates will constantly ask them if we can pull yet. And being impatient, you of course pull the fire team before everyone has the chest. Okay, I'm pulling. Okay, okay pulling. Oh, son of a bitch! Guys, I didn't get the chest! Number 7. Once you're done yelling at each other for not waiting, get ready to yell at each other's again. Because at this step, you want to have all 6 people throw in their own strategy for completing this encounter, and yet again waste another 10 minutes. So, go, okay, just go. we're gonna go. There's gonna be moats, you pick them up. No, that's the, wrong, that's the wrong encounter, that's the wrong encounter. Number 8. This is the point in the raid where you and one other person fight over who is opening the tether box. Don't try to talk logically about who should shoot it, just keep going back and forth and turning the box on and off. Number 9. This one is a little tricky, so I'll reference number 3. Always take the longest path when tethering. Remember, use all 6 players and waste as much time as possible. Number 10. This is the part where you pick up 4 moats, stare at one, don't pick it up, and keep on running. Moats appear on your radar, so be sure not to look at your radar when picking them up. Number 11. This is the point where you dedicate one of your titans to place a bubble at the absolute worst place in time causing you to miss out on the entire DPS phase and wiping the encounter. Number 12. After you've beaten Consecrated Mine, make your way to the windmills and have your teammates keep pushing you off of them. This is so each jumping puzzle takes at least 15 minutes to complete. Number 13. You see this happy Cyclops? Keep him happy. Do not kill him, and do not call out that he is alive. He wants to be alive, so let him enjoy it. Number 14. Alright, this big glowing plate means it's heating up about to cook you for dinner. The Vex want you for dinner, so stand on the plate while it's heating up. Number 15 is yet another throwback to number 3. Keep the tethers as messy as you can, aggravating everybody in your fire team. I said me! I can't shoot. Oh my god. Who's not getting Cyclopses? Oh my god! Number 16. At damage phase, make sure somebody is always opening the box that you are damaging from. This is so that you will have the best damage you can get out of a phase. Alright, tether, 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 tether. Why is this open? What are we? Bro! Oh my gosh! Oh my! Shoot it! Shoot it! What? Who's shooting it? Oh my gosh! I swear! I swear! Okay. Well, that. Good damage, face guys. Number seventeen. So the Vex want to give you hydroshock therapy with their milk. So let the boss cook all the plays so you can get that little foot tingle from the floor. Number 18. This is the part where you send in players to the portal. Make sure they are the worst players on your team and they die before they get pulled. How'd you- Nacho! I died! Nacho, what do you mean you, you died? Did you punch the Cyclops? Oh. Alright, Corn, you gotta get 10. Corn, you gotta get 10. Alright? I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, just- oh, Corn! Jesus! Corn! He ran in front of me! It's not my fault! Alright, Kyle, me and you, come Number on. Number 19. I don't think I need to explain this one. What? I am. Oh my god. Oh my, what am I looking at? Number 20. The last step, make sure you have one of your teammates use their super to damage the boss. This is very important because supers deal a ton of damage and you do not want to miss out on that damage.
Thanks. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching, I really enjoyed making this and recording this video, so I hope you enjoyed watching it. Leave a like or sub if you think I deserved it, also consider following me on Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday evenings at twitch.tv slash underscore. Hope to see you there sometime. Anyways dude, I'm out. <laughs>